Hey there, fellow Factorians. Onerous here with another episode of Rampant Ribbon World. And we've got a mission today, and that mission is oil. Um, oil, oil, oil. Quick recap, though. Last episode, we got military science going. Uh, we've got nothing using military science just yet. Uh, turn on alt mode. Uh, but it's there. And uh, look, we've got... Um, <clears throat> what have we got? So let's just have a quick look at our research. Um... We probably don't need logistics just yet. We're not we're not moving into red belts anytime soon. Uh, you know, I would like I would like grenade damage too because that's going to allow allow us to clear some trees uh, much much easier. Uh, what else we got? We got uh, we are going to need explosives at some point. Um, we're definitely going to need batteries, uh, not for solar or accumulators, of course, because we're not going to be using them. Um, we're working through a gun turret. That's probably pretty good. Uh, I mean, logistics does go into automobilism. What is automobilism too? Um, a advanced car. And there's a nuclear car, which okay has a nuclear reactor. Is there is there advanced tanks? Uh, now I'm now I'm getting a little bit excited. Uh, a tank, a tank too. Advanced tank, nuclear tank. Oh my goodness! All right, all right. Oh. Exciting times. All right, uh, let's focus. Focus back on where we are. Um, some lab research would actually also be really good. Maybe uh, maybe we should go there first. Uh, let's let's up our research. Um, what is an advanced lab? An advanced lab sit, takes sixteen labs to build. Has a research speed of twenty four. Um, a normal lab. What is it? It's just one for a normal lab, isn't it? Um, research speed 1.2 because of the 20% bonus. So yeah, one. So this is actually making our labs faster. Um, let's get that. Ooh, it's 800. Um, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. All right. Hear me out. Hear me out. I think uh, I think we can do it because look at look at all this science backing up. Um, if I were to if I were to make another 16, well look at that. Um, what are we missing? Sorry, uh, some iron. If I want to make another 16, we could then, because we've got 16 here, 4x4, four four, another 16 would enable us to uh, build two advanced labs and uh, save a lot of real estate. Um, but if I make these other 16 now, we can place them right here and we can really ramp this research speed up um, right now. Anyway. Let's, uh, let's let these handcraft, and while we're doing that, let's go grab uh, a few of these. Now, uh, we are going to expand to oil, obviously, over to here. Uh, so there's only three. There's only three uh, three crude places, so let's put one, two, three in our inventory. Um, we're going to need some refineries. Uh, honestly, three is probably enough refineries. Um, we're going to need some tanks. Let's just take half a stack of tanks. Uh, how are we going? Let's just do a little stock up. Alright. Stack of lights. Miners we don't need. Tanks. Got those. Got those. Um, we are going to need big electric poles to get out there. Um, I'm, okay, I'm okay with two stacks of that. Uh, how are we doing with these? Uh, we actually pretty much had a full thing of them anyway. Um, ah, ooh, okay. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I see, I see a little problem here. Um... Let's uh, let's upgrade these, and let's put something uh, here and here. Okay, bear with me. Bear with me. What I want to do is make this into underground pipes. Um, all right. So if we have something like this, let's put them there, them there. Um, Oh yeah, you need you need iron plate as well. Let's get that over to there. Yeah, okay, okay. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, let's make these fast inserts. Alright, you are you are going out as fast as possible. Okay, let's go two hundred of them and one hundred of them. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay, that's that's a pretty good number. Because um, yeah, we're gonna need we're gonna need lots we're gonna need lots of these. I actually, think uh, four hundred of them. Um, and let's let's get it coming in from all directions. So we definitely want these over over single. There, right. that's good. That's good. Um, while I'm here, let's upgrade upgrade. Let's uh, deck out our 
uh, inserter situation. We actually probably don't need 133 of these at this point. Uh, long handles though, we'll make sure we have a full stack of them. Okay, and belt wise, uh, yeah, yeah, we're actually pretty low on belts. Uh, not that we need belts for our oil situation, but um, let's just stock up on these because we can. All right, there we go, there we go. So um, we have all our labs going now. Let's let's ramp up the ramp up these labs. Okay, and uh, um, do I actually need? What if I take all these power poles in the middle out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's um, that's that's the go. So if we just have a row of these doing that, they can each support two. Yeah, yeah. Okay. There we go. And then we do this. We do this. Uh, not that one. There we go. Okay. So this will speed up our production uh, somewhat. Somewhat. This is in fact doubling our doubling the rate of research. Uh, which is nice. These ones here aren't going to get the uh, military science, but um, our lab research didn't require military science. So we just need uh, we just need 800. 800 of them to get advanced research. So let's get going on that. All right. Uh, while I'm going, let's uh, make sure we have all the turrets we need, all the ammo we need, uh, walls. Need some walls. Uh, they are back at the start. Okay, I think, I think we've got everything we need uh, everything we need. Ooh, okay. Just to, I'm gonna grab a bunch of stone, and we're going to use this to make a path out there, uh, just so we can get out there quickly. All right, I grabbed a little bit of other stuff. Uh, can I just ditch some stuff? Uh, let's go into let's go into the settings, mod settings, per player, even distribution. Um, I want I want to keep say 100 iron plate on me. 100 copper plate, uh, 400 stone brick actually seems pretty good. Uh, what is this steel plate? Just 100 of that, and this will allow us to uh, uh, coal uh, zero. Okay, confirm. Uh, back, resume. All right. So now when we shift C, we should get rid of everything that we can. Um, there we go. Okay. Good. 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 Uh, Let's grab, uh, let's grab 500 walls. Okay. Shift C. There we go. Gets rid of all the coal. Um, and all the stone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at that. Okay, but um, what I forgot was we wanted to make a path, didn't we? We wanted to make a path. Now, uh, it, power. Power pointed out that um, this 4x4 path is, is lovely, but it's, it's a bit of overkill. So we're not going to, we're just going to do a 2x2 two two path over to here, I think. Something like this, and run this all the way out, all the way out. Um, we're probably going to move. There we go. Uh, looks like we need to do that again, and maybe even again past this copper. Let's get these. Tr let's get these trees out. Get, these, get rid of these trees. Out of the way, trees. Um, oh gosh, and again. Uh, what am I doing? What am I doing? We've got we've got grenades, don't we? We've got grenades. And there we go. We do need to get those grenades upgraded, though. Uh, we've only got 33 of this left, and we're out. All right. I feel I feel this is worth spending a little bit of time now uh, just to upgrade this path. So let's go back and grab uh, some more stone bricks. More stone bricks, guys. Where would I get more stone bricks from? Well, right here, of course. Uh, get rid of the rest of our stone. Uh, sorry walls, I'm just going to slow down your production for a wee bit of time. Alright, uh, there we have it, and that is irking me right there. There we go. Okay. Uh, yes, we can, this definitely is wide enough, look at that. We can easily, easily run in such a straight direction. Uh, the car is generally why I do uh, a wider road, a wider road. Because, um, yeah, with the car, it's... Not as easy to, uh, uh, what have we got here? That one's in the way, there we go, okay. Uh, it's not as easy to go in a straight line. All right, so this now is coming out here. Let's uh, let's clear some trees out of the way. I need to get that upgrade of, uh, need to get that upgrade on um, grenade damage so that we can clear trees a little bit more efficiently. 
There we go. Ah, look at that. It's beautiful. Now, uh, we're actually we're actually in. Uh, there it is. There. There's one. There's the other. And then the other one is in here somewhere. If I look at the map. Um, there it is. All right. So let's grab our pump jacks. Oh, I didn't. Oh, I didn't bring power out here, did I? What a rookie. All right. Um, but we can do this, and once we have this done, um, our most important thing is, of course, to do um, to do this. Let's put some defenses in here. And uh, what do we got? Uh, you still got thirty six. That's probably thirty six in the front and eighteen at the back. Okay. Um, oh gosh, not this again. I'm gonna try and draw a nice square around here with the mouse. There we go. All right. Copy that. So uh, the next one can go here, All right, like that, and we'll uh, we'll get these defenses going first. And the back two, yep, I like it, I like it. Oh, I don't like drawing like that. There we go. Um, now, is that actually, I've got to make sure that that's full? Yep, it is. Good, good, good. Uh, so now if we copy that and go there, and there. All right, now we can grenade in this general vicinity. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. We've got a bit of, we've got a bit of a, a bit of a system, a bit of a system that is failing. There we go, this one's failing now. Um, now, once we actually get this oil going, I will want I will want flamethrowers. Um, I will want flamethrowers. There's there's no two ways about that. But uh, until then, until then, we'll uh, we'll deal with these four, just in case we get attacked, because we don't want to lose the production. We don't want to lose our area that is producing uh, the precious crude. Um, ooh, that's okay. Oh, that's all right. I'm not, I'm not too sure. I'm not too worried. Uh, a bit more grenadeage. And one more. And one more. There we go. All right. All right. More grenades. Clear. Clear with prejudice. Oop. There we go. All right. Uh, put way too much in that time. Uh, we still haven't had attacks. We still haven't had attacks, which is, uh, which is nice. It's, it's definitely nice. Um, I would, I would like to see some biters soon. Uh, famous last words, isn't it? Pretty sure, pretty sure I said that in the Death World run uh, just before, just before we died. Uh, there we go. Okay. We got uh, we got some decent defenses here. We got another row of defenses here, which is nice to have sort of some backup. Let's let's get some power poles. Let's get some big power poles running along here. Because why not? Might as well uh, have it along our path. Uh, yeah, we're going to keep it going in a straight line all the way across, all the way across. There we go. All right. Um, so there's some power. It is getting dark, so now that we have power here, we might as well drop some lights. Drop some lights. And now we can actually start pumping pumping some crude. Did I make those refineries? I did. All right. Uh, let's get you going straight up here. Um, all right. Let's start getting some more things on here. Did I not pick any of these up? Oh, well. That. That was a mistake. Okay. Let's go back, get some pipes, and start putting them in. And uh, while I'm here, look, let's just uh, fix up some of these terrible, terrible, unforgivable mistakes um, that are making this look really weird. I think there's another one right at the start too. Uh, this is this is a fair way away. Um, so I do hope I do hope we've got enough ammo uh, in case in case an attack comes. Uh, because it's going to take us a while to get between until we get a car. Uh, oh my goodness, we've also got, almost got advanced labs as well. All right, um, 175 of these. That is really nice. Okay, let's uh, let's turn you off for now. We'll need we will need a few of these, um, but I can get them. I can just sort of handcraft a few of them. In fact, I can handcraft a lot of them apparently. Um, so let's do that. Uh, we seem to have not much stuff on us. And I'm not sure why that is. I feel like we had a lot more stuff. Oh, we had all that just like coal and garbage that we got rid of, didn't we? 
and we've got the inventory bonus uh, from this thing. So maybe maybe we should get the better armor. Um, the better armor. I don't know. All right, let's focus. Let's focus. Let's get these pipes set up, and let's get some uh, some crude coming in. All right. So if you go straight up here. Uh, to say there and then we'll run yeah kind of along this path uh, meaning you come up here uh, to say there across to there and then you have to come up here somewhere there we go all right uh, that doesn't seem doesn't seem efficient there we go okay uh, neither does that in fact, look, just to make it visually more appealing, I'm going to separate that a bit more. Okay, uh, advanced labs are finished. Okay, I'm going to run back and we're going to do that. Uh, now is probably a good time to uh, to get into rails. Yep, get into rails. What else What else can we make? Uh, oh, no, no, no. Um, flamethrowers. Let's get flamethrowers first uh, and then we'll move into rails. Uh, so we need a logistics, rails, uh, Fluid wagons, we definitely need that. Uh, we do need automated and uh, rail signals and LTN. Okay. All right, that's uh, that's pretty exciting. That's pretty exciting. Uh, but first, let's bring this here. My, ooh, we had some trees. We had some trees in the way. Where are they? That one. And that was it. Okay. Um, now my thought, my thought is we'll use this as our area for uh, refining oil. Uh, that will mean we'll need a station. And somewhere here we had, yeah, this is the, this is kind of the width of a station. Um, except, except that the thing here, we will have a station that is doing uh, some pumps, 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 pumps. Uh, they're in here somewhere. I'm sure I've got them. No, I've got no pumps. Uh, well, let's let's do the way to get a there we go pump. Uh, it'll have a pump out into a tank um, and then so this is kind of the width that we need for a station uh, for oil uh, so I think I think we need to start our oil down here all right we'll refine here and then we'll do cracking and stuff later uh, down further so let's let's get these three refineries which are way more than we probably can support with just the tiny little wells that we have um, but they are going to be doing turning crude into petroleum um, now let's, uh, let's not get too ahead of ourselves because the other thing is so 100 crude goes to makes 45 petroleum gas with this basic recipe um, you can use crude or petroleum in flamethrowers and I've got a feeling from memory uh, uh, I've got a feeling from memory, like petroleum might not have any bonuses. Um, it might, maybe it's 10% bonus uh, compared to crude. So crude, more, I think, does like 100% damage, maybe 10, 110% for petroleum, maybe, or it might be also 100. But suffice it to say, we're better off putting crude in our flamethrowers than petroleum because we don't get, like, we're halving the amount of liquid we get if we turn it into petroleum. So unless we're getting 200%, which I know we're definitely not getting 200%, um, then we're, we're no good. Uh, I'm going to put a tank here, though, I think. I think I'm going to put a tank here um, just so we can get some of that petroleum out of, uh, some of that crude out of the ground. And, uh, of course, if we actually want that to happen, we do need to, we do need to power them up. Uh, that is a bit of a... Uh, a bit of an important factor, isn't it? Um, there we go. All right. So now we'll have some crude coming in. Uh, the refineries will temporarily start to make some stuff and our power will suffer greatly for it. Um, but what I want to do, okay, uh, two things. I want to set up flamethrower production, uh, flamethrower turret production. We definitely need to do that. Uh, looks like we also need to set up some lights along here uh, because for some reason we don't have any. Um, uh, and then maybe maybe we'll pop some down here, just to give us a bit of a light as we as we run around. Uh, yeah, not bad, not bad. All right, one there, one there, and then we're kind of into the factory. Okay. Um, 
So, uh, flamethrowers. What do flamethrowers need? Whoops. Uh, flamethrower turrets, they require steel, iron, engines, and pipe. Uh, so, we have pipe on this line. Um, uh, okay, okay. If I, if I were to make another engine unit here, we could make flamethrowers here. Uh, flamethrower turrets. Flamethrower turrets. And uh, kind of... No, we can't, we can't do that. We need to do that. Yep. Uh, nope. All right, all right. There we go, okay. With that in there and that there. All right, so you then need... Uh, we have no pipe. We have no pipe coming up here, but we'll, we'll get it. We'll get it. Uh, you need that and that, I think, from memory. Yep. All right, so once we get pipe coming up on this line, we'll be building that and we'll be building that, uh, which kind of means... Uh, we'll need an output for you. Uh, let's just make a stack of them. Uh, you, we don't need to do anything with. Uh, yep, yeah, okay, that's good, that's good. Now, um, what I want to do now is uh, rip up all of these. Uh, look at that, our green, as we can see, our green actually can't support all this, can it? Um, which is meaning, uh, meaning our green's not going to be able to support two advanced, advanced ones of these either. Um, that's okay. That's okay. Let's uh, let's make one uh, and see what happens. Uh, advanced lab. All right. And we can place it here. Um, we might as well rip out these other ones here while we're doing this. I wonder if they're going to be the same size. I don't know, I'm excited, I'm excited to see what happens. Um, rip all this out, there we go. Uh, we, we can in fact actually rip all this out too. Um, and then uh, all of these ones. All right, and there's our advanced lab. We can make another one. Uh, advanced lab, holy moly, okay. Um, yeah, yeah, all right, all right. Uh, no, I don't, I don't wanna make another one of them. Um, advanced lab. All right, so this is uh, a bit bigger than. Okay, that's actually too close. Um, it does. It does have. To be fair, to be fair, it um. It looks like it interferes with that, but it doesn't. Okay. Um, all right, that height there, and uh, they're interesting. So. That is actually in the advanced lab uh, square, but you can actually put the power poles there. No, I'm not sure what's going on there. I'm going to pull those ones out. Um, hmm. Uh, oh, you can overlap them. Okay, there, there's some there's some issues with the uh, with the advanced lab, but um, that's okay. That's okay. We're gonna we, we'll get by. Uh, so let's set up. Uh, one of these, and one of these, and a couple of these, and there we go. All right. So look at these things. Oh my goodness. Yep. Uh, yeah, they're um, they're pretty quick. They're pretty quick. They're big. They're quick. Um, I was hoping they were going to be the same size, but you know, um, it's research speed. It's it's research speed, and it's really quick. What more can we say? And they look they look really funky. So, uh, how are we doing for time? We are at 24 minutes. Um, have we made any flamethrowers yet? Probably not, because you'll need uh, you'll need some things. If I do that, if I give you what you need, um, ooh, tutorial. No, we probably don't need the tutorial. I'll, I'll be all right, thanks. Uh, let's grab another 100, 200 pipe, and let me pop it in there. There you go. Okay. So you've got what you need for a while um, to make some flamethrower turrets, uh, which I think is kind of the next thing we want. Um, all right, once we once we get the rails set up, uh, what are we going to go back for? We're going to go. We're going to work to tanks. Tanks need blue science. Um, maybe we should get some more weapon upgrades. Uh, incendiary weapons. Um, no unlocks itself, but. 
incendiary bullets, which require a piercing round, light oil, um, and they do ooh, 22 fire damage. That is, um, that's actually a massive upgrade. Uh, if I go to here, um, so this does eight physical damage. Now, to put that in perspective, a medium biter, I believe, has uh, four armor. Uh, sorry, four damage reduction, and then like a 10% resistance. So, to physical, uh, meaning each bullet only does eight, uh, eight minus four, so four, um, and then minus 10%, so it does like 3.6 damage. Quick math. Uh, incendiary, incendiary bullets, then biters have no fire resistance. So they actually do 22 damage per hit. Compared to the 3.6. That's like seven times? Uh, six, six times? Yeah, let's say six times. Six times the damage of a piercing round. And all it costs is some light oil. That is, um, honestly, that is amazing. Uh, that is amazing. I wonder, I wonder though, um, does Rampant provide some resistance to biters? Um, I don't know. And I think I think we need to be uh, I think we need to put some stuff down. Uh, oh yeah, this these are just just super slow, aren't they? Um, engine units, yeah, yeah. All right, it's going to take a while to actually produce the flamethrowers. We might uh, we might have to wait till next episode uh, to get some flamethrower turrets up and running. But oh man, I'm I'm so excited seeing that incendiary ammo. Whew. Very interesting. Uh, what are, what's happening over here? Well, I can see a problem straight away. I've upgraded the top to blue, but these ones weren't upgraded to blue. Um, that was definitely a problem. All right. Uh, and another problem is apparently outputting these things. Uh, you can't output them. Oh, well, you're, you're backing up. Uh, what's your problem? Gear wheels. All right, no, not a huge surprise, I've got to say. Um, what I could do, what I could do is this. And we can just speed up, speed up gear wheel production uh, by doing this. So you go there and have that there. Uh, it's a little bit dodgy. Uh, I'm not a huge fan, um, but it's it'll it'll work. It'll work. All right. Because so I do want I do want this this going. Uh, all right. Um, yeah, as you can see, we've only got the one. We got the one lab going, which is which is fine. All right. Uh, so where are we? Where are we going? Well, um, I do. I want to put a lab. I want to put a lab. I want to put a um, radar at the far end so we can continue our scan just a little bit further um, we have we have we have a problem look at that that is a huge problem um, I am going to have to I think divert all of these now um, of course now that they are struggling with coal we need to run some coal up there to actually power it up so they can get back going and uh, that's it's a it's a problem all right coal is a problem uh, can I just grab a couple of bits of coal out of you and pop them in there all right uh, so that should allow our coal to kind of kick back up uh, it's not too bad because this other one seems to be Seems to be outputting enough for what we're using, uh, which is what grenades for for uh, military science. Which are not even not even touching military science. So this bus coal is not doing anything. Uh, it's just the smelting. Um, this one here is running out because I can see one's not working. Two, three, a lot of them aren't working. All right. Just a little bit of a uh, little bit of base cleanup. 
Uh, can we can we get some more in here that aren't going to have stone? Yeah, we can. These actually, this whole row uh, is okay. Uh, 1.4k, 3k. And uh, it'd be nice to also get you in there. Um, nope, apparently, there we go. And you, okay. Uh, so that is... Uh, let's spin these around. One, two, three, four. Oops. There, like that. All right. Just to even that out. Um, although, hang on, hang on. We've actually got one, two, three extra on the inside. Uh, so we probably should do this over here to even it up. All right. There we go. Uh, that should somewhat even that up, and we'll get a bit more steel going through. Um, research, it's going a mile a minute, mile a minute. We're almost up to uh, the full the full rail. Automated rail, I think, is signals, and then there's LTN. Let's get this radar down before I forget. Uh, we must be out of time. 31 minutes, we are out of time. All right, so um, flamethrowers are our next our next big thing. Um, we've actually got to we got to build them though. They're uh, they're taking a, their sweet time. Um, so this will uh, this will reveal a bit, and look at that. We're actually uh, our pollution cloud is past what we can see, uh, because mainly this is desert you see here. So we don't have any trees. We had a nice buffer of trees here that was uh, um, a nice buffer of trees that was blocking the pollution flow. But now uh, now that we've pushed out a little bit further and we're making some more, it's starting to spread very quickly across the desert, and uh, maybe just maybe there'll be some biters in the near future. Um, other than that, well, I think I think we're good. Uh, next episode, yes, flamethrower turrets, uh, for sure. And I'm going to need to start investing in rail. So we're going to need a station here to get some crude oil sent all the way back, all the way back to the other end, so we can have flamethrowers at the other end as well. Um, I think that's going to be the best way to get crude oil there. I don't want to have pipes running the whole way. Um, if you've got thoughts on how we can do it better than that, do let me know. Um, I probably don't need that tutorial either. Thanks thanks for the suggestion. Um, but yes, if you, if you can give a better way to get oil there, uh, do let me know. But most importantly, thanks to my patrons and see you tomorrow.